Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Wheel of Wellness. I'm Tom Rufer, along with my co-hosts, Caroline Gustafson and Natalie Knudsen. Um, yeah, and so this last week we did recycling, which is a, a cause that's near and dear to my heart. Ever since I had a, a sixth grade science teacher that, that really uh, got me on the recycling bandwagon. So, uh, so thanks for that, Teach. Uh, we've, uh, we've posted the photos and comments. Uh, we had 178 submissions. Uh, we've received, uh, we posted those on our Facebook page, links to those. Um, and, uh, and Caroline, did you find, did you pull out a couple of comments that you thought were particularly interesting? Yeah, there are some pretty cool ones out there. Um, one person recycled coffee grounds, eggshells, coffee pods, aluminum cans, cardboard, old towel cut up and use them for household uses and things like that. So that was, that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Um, there was someone who focused on checking every piece of their garbage to see if it had a recycling logo on it. You'd be surprised You'd at how be much surprised. plastic is, is really recyclable. Yep. Yeah. Like so. those, uh, one thing that I found out right after we uh, got our recycling bins here in Fergus was that those plastic containers that the fruit comes in. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Like Cool Whip. I think the Cool Whip tubs are recyclable. I yeah. I mean, I heard. <laughs> it was Thanksgiving not too long ago. Yeah, welcome to our wellness challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's dip strawberries. Yeah. yeah, carrots. Um, one person um, actually went out and bought recycling bins because they oh. don't live in city limits and, hey, and had it, you kudos. know, set up in their garage to make it easier for them to remember. Kudos, yeah, yeah. and yeah, thanks to the people that do that that bring their the haul their stuff in. Yeah, that's, that's a little extra step. Yeah, rather than just hauling it out to the curb. But it makes a difference. Sure. Um, well, great. Thanks, folks, for doing that. Keep on recycling. Um, and uh, and what are we uh, what are we working on now this week, uh, Caroline? We are in gratitude this okay. week. Um, we are practicing our spiritual wellness by expressing gratitude towards others. So, okay. um, the goal is to call someone, text someone, write someone a message, talk to them face to face, and just express how much they mean to you or something that they did and what that meant to you or, or helped you with. And um, so that's just it's hard to do. It's stepping outside your comfort zone a little yeah. bit, um, yeah. but just ex expressing thankfulness and gratitude towards others. Yeah, and think about how good that's going to make that person feel. Is is is? I mean, they might not have any idea that they have that effect on you and it made that impact on your life. But mm -hmm. um, but when you reach out and you, you you tell somebody that hey, you know what, you've done this and this has really affected me. That's I bet that feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know, but <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Uh, and so next week is our final week. Wow, that yeah. went fast. We're, um, we're gonna have to leave. I think we should. No, no. I think we stay and we keep doing videos every week. <laughs> just talk about, we're just random stuff. Um, you know, and speaking about uh, weekly um, broadcasts, uh, so this week is intellectual wellness. Yeah. And one of the things that you get credit for this week is listening to podcasts. Huh. So, um, so go on your on your device. Um, uh, you know, go to your app store, download a podcast app. I think iPhones have it built right into them. Yeah. Um, you know, download a podcast app. You'd be amazed at what's out there. I mean, really every, amazing. whatever your interest might be, there's a podcast for it. Um, and it's, it's quick and easy to do. Uh, but good old fashioned reading, good old fashioned reading. Yes. Um, what do you got there, Nat? Well, I'm just going to say it feels so good to hold a book. Yeah. I, I mean, I, my phone's great, but to sit down and actually have a book they got that smell. Book. Yep. Yeah, it's great. Could I um, so this is just a good motivational read that I picked up and okay. um, kind of has a little fitness, uh, a little nutritional, but a lot of life things to, that are talked about within this book that just kind of give me motivation to keep doing what we're doing. And you know what? This is a great time to um, tell the world, if you don't know, the new library has been open for like yeah. a month yes. now. And they have some really great options. You don't even really have to spend a ton of time in there. If that's not your thing, you can check out a book online. Mm -hmm. They'll get it, and you just got to go pick it up and actually check it out. Yep. Another option that I use a lot is I check out books through an app on my phone, mm -hmm. and I sit there and read the book on my phone yep. through the library. That's great. Yep. Um, books on tape. Yep. And, you know, there's there's a ton of things, ton of resources. Magazines they have there, newspapers yep. from all over. So go see the new library. It's a great it's a Yeah. Great call. And try to, you know, think outside your comfort zone a little bit. We've got we got spring coming up. Maybe you need to learn about uh, planting a garden. Botany perhaps. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 
So what we're recording is minutes of reading or minutes of listening to podcasts. So we're back to minutes. We're kind of taking a full circle where the first week we recorded minutes and this week we're recording minutes. So. Yeah, and give us your suggestions too. If you come across a book that just is like, whoa, or a podcast that's like, you know what, I think Tom would really like this, uh, post it on the Facebook page. We want to hear about it. Yeah. So yeah, give us your suggestions. Let us know what you're reading. All right, we have two gifts left. You guys spend the day? Yep, we either have a spice pack or a teapot. So, like ginger spice, sporty spice, posh spice. Yeah. <laughs> spice it up. Spice Speaking of spices, hey. woo! Spice is the winner. And Barbara Moulter is our winner this week. Chicken dinner. Just put spices on Put, put your spices on the chicken dinner. Yeah. Well, so. All right, so record your minutes of reading or and or podcasts, and that will be our last recording. Yeah, so we'll see you next week to report on our results. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for your participation. We appreciate you having here. And uh, More info on the expo coming next week. Yes, All right. expo's coming up. Yeah. 14th? 14th of March. 14th, mark your calendars. Yep. Big day. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.